Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, just to start my presentation, I'd like to give a brief about where we stand now. Uh, I've been I've been into skill development from last three and a half year, working with most of you uh, in terms of getting your skill manpower and addressing the bottom of the pyramid, basically training the operator level. Uh, I've been into NCR from last five years. We have seen uh, the minimum wages has been uh, in last three years has been double. Uh, I've started with 3,500 as an average. Uh, now it's 6,500 and in the future, say two years or three years down the line, it would be 8,500. So where we are standing, at, as Mr. Tony Utpal was addressing yesterday, that we have certain challenges or certain external factor uh, that the industry take, took it as a challenge uh, and we address it alone. But there are certain external and internal factor for it. The internal factor that could be addressed. Uh, we are, I'm here to talk about benchmarking. I request you all to participate. It's not about presentation, but it's all about discussion. We are here in a panel discussion. So I won't talk much. I'd like you to listen and respond. We'll start with what is benchmarking? Uh, what does benchmarking uh, tell us? What is benchmarking? I'd like to hear from you. What, what do you feel about what is benchmarking? So, is anybody would like to uh, answer this? What do you mean by benchmarking? Uh, just to clarify that uh, this part of the session is more interactive. It's designed to be more interactive, like a panel discussion. So feel free to ask questions or answer questions that uh, Abhishek is putting or anybody else. We, we're open to everybody's inputs. And to address that, I have only 13 slides made. So if it won't be interactivity, then I'll just complete it in one minute's time. So i like you to participate. And we have it, I see uh, 40 people out here with an average experience of 10 years. So we have 400 years of experience in this hall, small hall. So uh, the more we participate, the more we learn and the effective benchmarking we could be able to do. So if somebody could just slide on what is benchmarking, it will drive me and it will help me to drive this presentation forward. What else? How does it help? Right. What else? How does it help? Does standardization help us? What is the level of standardization that we do? How do, how do we standardize? Sir? Right, so. And what could be the level to start with? Say, say we need to move. Right. To start with, could be your own assessment. To start with, could be your partner. Could be the factory next to you. Uh, if you start comparing yourself with the factory which is in Bangladesh or the factory which is in Vietnam, that will give an idea about the benchmarking. But is it possible to achieve that? Is it? Is it? It has to be. In this competitive world, what I feel with my, with my level of experience, it has to be and you need to reach there. What could be the level of getting into that, that level? So to start with for you first your own assessment, where you are, what, what was your best time when, when you have been very productive? What, because, sir, we, we, work, we work in a seasonal uh, sector where we have lean, where, where we have lean time, where we have order, uh, wherein we recruit more people to get the order, to get the order shaped on the right time. So you first need to assess yourself. I just list on a definition of what Wikipedia says, a benchmark is the method of identifying, improving best practices in order to improve your performance. Why you need it? As everybody said, we need it to, to standardize the thing. Uh, we need it to know where we are standing and it helps us to drive to reach to certain level. These are the five uh, key points that I have identified. It helps us to identify opportunity. It helps us to improve our performance and it helps us to set realistic and ambitious target to us. It helps us to learn. And the most important thing is to, it helps us to use your resource allocation. You need to have right people at the right place at the right time. So the benchmarking helps us to address these three, 
five key points in which resource allocation could be your key drivers the coming because as, as earlier day we talked about uh, somebody was speaking about that resource is our is what is what we are going to invest in it what and and we know the way the salary the way the wages are going up, up so that would the key resources that could be addressed by using this benchmarking there are two key drivers one is productivity the second is utilization you cannot sustain until you have this two combined way of doing it you you may you may be productive you may be doing uh, fair far better or fair better than what you have been doing it but if your utilization is not there, say you you can be you can be efficient, but you need to also perform. So performance and efficiency comes hand to hand. So these are the key drivers. I would like to address if there are other drivers that you think that could that drives our business. There, are, in my opinion, there are the key there are two key drivers that drives our business is productivity and utilization. If you become productive and you and if you utilize all your resources better, that could be your space, your manpower, your capacity, your energy everything then then these two are the key things that, that that is going to play a very critical role and important role in driving the business so what you want to be you want to be effective you want to be efficient anybody <coughs> good else i'll just throw a light on it i'll just narrate a small story here there were two person driving a car different car the both car caught punctured one guy stand out he was just trying to figure out where you need to put the jack how could it be done so he just wasted his 10 minutes of his time then he found and then he com completed his job in an effective manner the the tire was the tire was fixed in the way it needs to be fixed the other guy mr y you can say uh, he knows he knows earlier how to fix a tire how to uh, how to put the jack how to fix a tire so what he did he just he first clean his tires then he start fixing it and mind it he didn't take much of time he was very efficient but what he did he did, he clean his tire which was not required which was not required so he has done unvalued thing what we do what what are the unvalued thing that we do in our factory for which we are not paid off we check garments we are not paid for checking garments. We are paid for making garments. We are paid for making garments first piece right at the first time. We are not paid for checking garments 10 times or 15 times, you see. So what do you want? In my, it should be both. You need to be effective and you need to be efficient. We have done a case study. Uh, it's a small factory. It's a... 500 machine factory uh, there are few numbers that could be debated on uh, but we are not here to debate the number we are here to find out uh, where we are uh, I'll just go through the average manpower cost that the factory is, is just doing it the cutting cost is rupees 5 the swing is uh, rupees 60 uh, 68 uh, rather the finishing cost man I'm just talking about the manpower cost it directly reflect to the productivity of the factory how they are performing the finishing cost is rupees 8 so you may your factory may be more efficient but where we are if you talk about cutting costs it sh it should not be it should be close to 2 rupees or 2 and a half rupees and it could be improved more if you talk about swing cost if we search in a net or you just tell you about it should not be it should be between 15 to 22 rupees or it should be lesser if you talk about finishing cost i was just discussing with mr jain mr gunisian here he has seen a factory in Bangladesh. I think he must have discussed with you all. Uh, the finishing cost was less than a rupee. So, do we need to benchmark ourselves look, look, looking at the Bangladesh factory? This figure tells you. This figure tells tells you where you stand. This figure will help you to identify what are the what are the factors, what are, what are the non non value added process that you do, what are the what are the way of increasing productivity of your factory, and and the energy cost is the key here. Like uh, the energy cost is rupees thirty. The earlier we were having a presentation on the energy, and somebody said it's 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 thirty percent of of the garment, thirty percent of the cost that we do. So is that is that the benchmarking that that we are going to have? How how now we'll just get you through how we have done that, how we have figured out this cost, from where we have got this cost. We have followed a mechanism 
of doing a benchmarking here. There's a set of process that we do. We visit a factory. Uh, we take certain data. The data are captured in a yearly manner. We we take 12 months day data because it it gives us an average of what production that you do. Then we compare it with your 10 days and 15 days average of that time because then that that helps us to cross check uh, the kind of data that you're giving to us because I think the measurement factor is the thing which, which is which which is really missing in our our in, in industry. If we measure, then then we don't really. Uh, you know, uh, we don't really make use of it. It's just measured for the sake of measurement. And if it is not measured, then the values are missed out. So we follow certain uh, process of doing it. We interact with the team out there. We discuss with them. And I'll say uh, while discussing with this factory, uh, with the industrial engineering team and the production manager, uh, their throughput time uh, was two days. I mean, the first piece comes after a second day of the order. And that's too much. Uh, that's really too much. Uh, then I asked, what could be, what could be the best? He said, sir, aadhe din mein to aajana chahiye. And I said, kyun aadha din? Why half day? Why not after one hour of the pieces uh, we went slow date? When the last piece of the first order out, he said that, sir, we work with high fashion garments. Uh, they are different, they are lot size, they are many issues. I said, how do you benchmark yourself? Uh, they are lean, cons they are lean principle based order. They are SMED principle that talks about external factor, internal fa factor. You need to figure out what are the external factor, what are the internal factor. But what I presume, seventy percent of the uh, the processes remain same. I don't know what kind of garment you make, but sixty, seventy percent the process remains same. There are only thirty percent that you need to address. So if thirty percent are addressed on the right time, then really it will help you to control your throughput time because that's the key of uh, that's the area where every swing section or say, production uh, suffers. So that's the area and that's the focus area that, that we work with. Uh, that was it. I think it was, uh, I said uh, I have got a, a, a very small presentation that need to be done. Uh, we are open for any kind of a discussion here. Uh, so thank you very much. Yeah, I could be contacted on the address and the email ID I have. Uh, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the patient listening. Thank you.